2,000 business leaders are gathering for the Institute of Directors annual conference at the Royal Albert Hall today. It is a day for influencing, networking and debating current issues facing the corporate world. Well, we can now join Michelle Fleury, who's at that conference for us. Michelle. But this well, as you can see right now, I'm inside the Royal Albert Hall, uh, where more than 2,000 business leaders are gathering. They are listening right now to a lady from American Express, Susan Sobert, giving tips to how people should essentially try and grow their business, uh, in particular lessons that she has learned at American Express. Well, a short while ago, I spoke to uh, Will Haywood from BuzzFeed Europe, a particularly apt guest because the theme at this year's event is Game Changer. And we started by talking about how the internet had changed traditional media industry. The first model of the internet was all about destinations, it was all about portals, these kind of places that people would go to. Uh, the second age of the web was all about search, people going online and searching for things. And we think we now exist in the, the era of social. So the web is all about sharing stuff now. Um, two big reports that came out in the last few months, the, uh, the Lord String report for the BBC and the New York Times Innovation Report, both point out the fact that... Uh, the the biggest thing in media right now is creating content that's good enough that consumers are going to read it and also choose to share it with their friends. Um, so one thing that we've had some very good success at BuzzFeed is, is focusing on that. How can we create things that are um, interesting or funny or nostalgic or informative um, and are good enough that consumers are going to look at them and then put them on their Facebook, put them on their Twitter. And I guess what is your message to young entrepreneurs, this idea that, you know, there are many new industries causing disruptions, if you like, or, or changes to traditional. So what would your message be to a young entrepreneur today? Uh, I guess um, the main message really is um, we have thousands of people coming here today who've got uh, decades of experience in business, and that's uh, wonderful. Um, but I'd say to the young entrepreneur that you probably know certain things that they don't know. The, the world is changing so fast, the internet is changing so fast, that um, think about the things that you think you know that, that you think they're ignoring. I think that's the real opportunity for disruption. Now, BuzzFeed has just introduced a new diversity policy. Uh, very quickly, why have you done that? Sure. So, um, like a number of other tech companies, uh, such as Facebook and Twitter and Apple, um, uh, we have uh, announced the demographic breakdown of, of people who work at BuzzFeed, and we were delighted to see that male-female split was, was pretty much uh, equal. It was totally representative of, of society, um, but we've still got some work to do in terms of sort of ethnic origins. Um, so, uh, we see this both as sort of a, um, a sort of uh, social responsibility issue. We're, we're keen to employ everyone from whatever background they are. Uh, but crucially, we also see this as a business opportunity. Um, we want to big, build a big, meaningful media company for the future, and if we're going to do that, uh, we need to have people from, from all over uh, the world and from all different groups working uh, at the business. Well, Will Hayward there from BuzzFeed. A short while ago on the stage was the Chancellor George Osborne. He had a message about Europe where he said it was important that the business community, those assembled here, get their message on Europe out to the general public.